welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we are taking an exciting road trip up to Holland, Michigan. Me and my mom and sister-in-law are going on a girls trip this weekend and shopping at the Found Cottage Mercantile Market and also visiting the Found Cottage store. If you follow Liz Marie on Instagram or Pinterest, she has a huge blog. She's been blogging about cozy design for years and my mom and I just fell in love with her and my sister-in-law loves her also. We have her books, we watch her Instagram stories, and we've seen her post about this market the last couple of years and thought it would be so fun to actually go and experience it and see all these amazing antique and vintage vendors. And this year we decided to make the trip. So it was about a seven hour drive-ish, about seven and a half with stops. And we also had a time change in there. So it was quite the haul, but it was a really easy drive. We got to see a lot of windmills and we stopped at a really cute little town for lunch along the way. We got to sit outside, the weather was amazing. And then we headed on up to Holland, Michigan, which is where the found cottage was. I wanted to take you guys along with me while we explored this area. We got to visit a windmill and a little mock Dutch village. And it truly was such an amazing and inspiring trip. So after I show you guys the travel portion and shopping at the found cottage mercantile market and the found cottage storefront, you guys a little haul of what I picked up along the way on our trip. Before we get going, I wanted to take a quick second to thank Cozy Earth for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I just got my package in from Cozy Earth. I have a whole new bedding set that I am so excited to try out. So I thought I would pull it out of the packaging, feel it and give my first impression. First off, I just wanna say, Look at this packaging. This is what the sheet set came in. Cute little canvas bag with a leather detail, brass accents, stunning. I'm definitely going to reuse that. I got the duvet cover in oat and right away I can feel how soft this is and luxurious feeling. I've never had sheets feel like this. The soft feel, it has a slight sheen to it. And this is made out of bamboo. So I love this color. It's like a cream. I didn't want a bright white. So I went with the oat for the duvet cover. And I also got the bamboo sheet set in driftwood. And this is a little bit of a taupier color. These are so nice. I cannot wait to try these out. And the comforter came in this duffel bag, which again, this is gonna be a great weekend bag. I went with the all weather duvet insert. It has the ties on the sides to keep the duvet cover on. It feels so nice, not too thick, not too thin. And then for extra coziness going into the fall and winter seasons, I have their bamboo stretch knit pajamas. Oh, I love this color so much. These feel amazing, like truly. I'm a hot sleeper, so I opted for the shorts and I did go up a size, I got a medium. And these are in the color walnut. Cannot wait to sleep in these. I'm gonna wash them and sleep in them tonight. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I love the cozy earth bedding and pajamas and how it affects my sleep. Now let's head to Holland, Michigan. We finally arrived to Holland, Michigan. After about seven and a half hours, there was a huge line of people waiting to get into the market and it was so fun. So I'm going to show you guys all of the decor that stuck out to me and the overall feel of the market. There were so many good antique vendors, beautiful furniture pieces, unique items, and I just love the overall way everyone styled everything. They put everything together so beautifully and it gave me so much inspiration to bring home.
booth was my absolute favorite one at the market. Their Instagram handle is Canvas and Cargo, and they redo furniture to this light wood stain finish. And oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I loved all of the pottery pieces. This was just such a unique look, and I loved it so much. So this gave me a ton of inspiration to go home and try to flip some furniture myself and give it a go. from the moment they opened at three o'clock until about seven so we had such a successful shopping trip at the found cottage market the next morning we woke up and we headed to trader joe's we don't have one where i'm from so it's a treat to get to go in we also browsed around home goods and tj maxx and world market that's another place we don't get to go to very often and they had all of their fall goodies out which was really fun to see and so inspiring Next, we headed over to the found cottage and this was such a unique and beautiful experience. The storefront is really so much inspiration and they had clothing, they had antique items, they had vendors set up in different booths and then they had their own products as well that were new and old but they had grand displays they had huge garden displays they also had mock rooms set up it was truly beautiful and again the theme of the light stained wood furniture pieces carried on over to the store so we got so much inspiration from going here and i cannot imagine this place at christmas time too it was so beautiful to see it during the fall they had all of their candles going it smelled so good it was just such a lovely experience headed over to the Windmill Island Garden and this was such a unique place. They had a Dutch town. They also had just traditional iconic Dutch things like the wooden shoes we got to try on which was hilarious. We couldn't stop laughing. They had a little mock Dutch village set up. They had windmills and they actually had a 250 year old windmill that was gifted to us from the Netherlands. So, so cool. We were able to go up in it. It was an old grain mill and we got to see what they did on each layer of the mill. And we also got to walk out on the edge, which my sister-in-law was not a fan of. Um, you could kind of see through the floor. So it freaked us out a little bit, but nonetheless, it was a really neat experience. They also had some beautiful horses that you could go see and get different views of the windmill. So this was such a lovely spot and a great way to have a slow afternoon. Right, let's get into the haul. I picked up a few pieces that I thought were really good finds and deals and unique items that I'm not really able to get in my area. So on the way there, we were all talking about things we were looking for and the way we could all keep our eye out. One of my items were dried gourds. I have a few of them, but here I like they're ten dollars a gourd and i just don't want to pay that i was trying to find good deals on gourds i also am always looking for old books and then i also wanted some type of basket with a lid for toy storage for breland another thing i've been on the hunt for for a couple months now maybe even the last year honestly are crock bowls and these are pretty pricey. Typically, I feel like they range anywhere from like $50 up to a hundred plus dollars, depending on the quality and where you purchase it at. And I just didn't want to pay that much. So I was trying to find a good deal on a crock bowl and they did have a lot there, but they still were a little bit on the higher end. Like, um, a pretty good size bowl would be like $40 better, but I decided to hold off and I'm glad I did because 
I had a surprise waiting for me at home on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. And the last thing I was looking for was a book stand. So the first booth that we went into, I found dried gourds and they were three for $10, which I thought was a great deal. And I love the color of them and the stems. I could have bought the whole basket of them, but I held back and just got my favorite ones. Next I found this book. It kind of has fall colors, I thought, and what sold me was the front of the book. I thought the cover was so pretty and perfect for fall. Uh, the book is called As the Earth Turns, and inside of it, when I flipped it open, there was a note, which I thought was so sweet. And it also had this. A little typewriter note and it says fathers of thanksgiving it looks like it's just a little poem but i thought how cute would this be to frame and have this displayed for fall decor too this was 12 dollars, but i thought this was such a unique book and i loved the little note inside i've also been looking for good like serveware dishes things that were a little more worn and old world looking so i found this bowl and i loved the scalloped edging on it just love the detail on it but it was still very simple this this was five dollars and then i also at the same place got this plate and this was seven dollars and this is a nice heavy duty plate i actually have them layered like this and then i put them in my glass cabinets in the kitchen i've also been on the hunt for a jug like this for a while for a decent price and i saw a ton of these there and most of them were about $50 and up but I came across this one and it was $24 and I thought that was such a steal it's a piece I'll be able to use all year round I can put different stems in it have it in the kitchen I just love those old pottery pieces I did indeed find a book holder which I was so excited about this one is a wooden one it has a really pretty just like ornate detail would work to it. it is and i wanted one for my coffee table to display books on it and i just opened it up to a pretty page in the book and i'll have this setting on our coffee table and it kind of just it's a different look to having books styled on your coffee table i love them just flat as well but i thought this would give a nice visual interest and this piece was 15 dollars, which i know i probably could have gotten it cheaper but i haven't seen one of these and I've been looking for one for probably the last year or so. So I was willing to pay a little bit more than I think it probably would have been normally, but this piece is in excellent condition. Another thing I'm always looking for are these candle snuffers. I think that's what it's called. And this one was so unique and this was $5. It has a wooden handle. It's very long and it's got a really pretty brass snuffer, I guess. This is the snuffer part. You just put this over the candle wick and it'll blow the candle out for you. I feel like they're really pretty sitting next to candles. So and tonight I'm actually going to a candle making class. You guys, it was so hard not to buy the candles that were at the market or at the found cottage because they smelled so good. They had a lot of the antique candle co candles, which I've actually never smelled in person, but oh my goodness, their fall scents were so good but tonight we're making candles and i picked up this little pumpkin canister from hobby lobby and i spray painted it with like a textured spray paint to give a stone look and i'm going to make my little candle with that tonight so i'm very excited another thing i picked up from hobby lobby were these candlesticks and these were actually a part of the christmas line while we were up there we went to a hobby lobby and it was like triple the size of my normal one and i picked out a ton of christmas ornaments some that i had had my eye on they were 50 percent off that week i'm not sure if they'll stay 50 percent off or not but I was able to stock up. There are these really nice velvet ornaments. I'm doing a totally different look in our living room this year, and I'm so excited for it. But I saw these candlesticks. I believe they had these last year, but I was needing some candlesticks that were tall and the same size um, to go on my dining room table. Pick these up and they were $10 each. And I love the brass color that they are and just the overall shape of them. Okay, this next piece is a family bible and this is from the 1800s it's kind of falling apart 
but I just saw it and thought it was so unique and beautiful and look at this I don't know if you can tell but the pages are huge um, this isn't something I'd be flipping through you can see it's truly falling apart and hopefully I can try to save it a little bit but there were also notes in it of marriage license and just notes to the family it's so sweet and I also thought just the overall look of this was beautiful so I did pay $25 for this. I'm probably gonna style it in my living room. One of my favorite finds of the day is this basket. You guys, I told you I was looking for one with a lid on it. This one is in fantastic condition. And the booth that I got this at, they actually had two of these. This one, and then they had one that was probably double this size underneath it that this was sitting on. And this one was $20. The one underneath it was $120. So I opted for the smaller one and it's still a really good size. So I'll be able to store her toys in here and keep them in the living room or keep them in her room. But I love this basket. Speaking of Breelin, I did pick up a few bows for her. Um, there was this booth set up and I actually saved her card so you guys could look it up if you have little ones. Okay, so here's the name. I think it's Jujuberry. So jujuberry.com. She had the cutest little lovey blankets and headbands, all different kinds. But I love this checkered print and her prices were amazing. So I picked up this one for fall. It's more of like a caramel chocolate tan color. And then this one is the same checkered print, but in more of like a beige color. So I love these. Um, and I was going to order some on Amazon, but I would rather support a small business and it's a super soft material. And then to match it, the lighter tan one, I have this little blanket and I think it's actually a burp cloth. You can use it as a burp cloth or a little lovey. It was seven dollars. It's super soft minky on one side and then that like jersey material on the other. And then the last thing I got from the market was this sweatshirt. This was in Liz's booth, the found cottage. Just wanted to find a little souvenir. So this says the found cottage mercantile market. It's just embroidered and it's this like green color. I did size up to a medium so it would be oversized and it's super comfy and lightweight so i'll be living in this this fall like i said i was looking for the harvest bowl slash crock bowl i saw a lot of those while we were there but they were very pricey so i thought i'll wait and see if i can find anything else and i was scrolling through facebook marketplace looking for furniture to flip actually and i came across these bowls and they were such a great deal. So found a harvest bowl and I got two of this size and then one smaller size for $65, which one bowl this size at the market was about $40. So I feel like that's a really good deal. I'm glad that I held out and now I'll have more ways to style these. That is everything that I picked up from the market. It was such a fun weekend. So sweet, so neat to see and go explore. We did drive through Grand Rapids, but we didn't stop or anything in there. And then the found cottage wasn't in Holland. It was a little bit outside of it, but it was on the way to our hotel. So it worked out perfect. We had such a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and seeing what we found at the market. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any fall decorating videos. If you missed my fall shop with me, link my fall 2023 playlist down below. And then I also have started decorating decorating my kitchen for fall as well as my living room and i'm getting ready to do my dining room and entryway and then i'll do a few things in the bedrooms as well thank you guys for spending some time with me today and i'll see you all soon in my next one bye friends mm -hmm.